Hello, my arcade friends. This is Arid in Game Name September on Thunderwing, the public test server, and the new e server for a start. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the marketplace updates that just happened on the PTS. And so now I've got information on the normal legacy server marketplace for 4.5 launch and also information for those on the fresh start so let's go ahead and uh, get into it so if you're gonna be playing on the legacy server uh, there's a new RNG box called the law keeper crate and then there's also limited time event uh, packages not only do we have the superior reds on sale but there's these costume bundles and there's four of them uh, so let's go through those um, I happen to get uh, the costume bundles. Now, if you're on the Fresh Start servers, you will also be able to buy these costume bundles. The first one that we're going to take a look at is called Lifestyle Costume Package. And according to this, it contains six costumes. The Angelic Whisper, the Blue Devil's Hoodie, the Denim Mecha Coveralls, the Scarlet Mecha Coveralls, the Prisoner Pride, and the Night Raven Robes. Um, on PTS, I am a costume collector, and so these bundles are a no-brainer. All right, so the uh, that was the lifestyles, and here's the a quick look at these costumes. This is the blue devil's hoodie, and unfortunately, I can only show you the male versions because that's uh, what I am. The this is the angelic whisper costume. All right, this is the denim mecha coveralls. Cool, cool, cool. The scarlet mecha coveralls. Now, let me take off my wings, not to confuse people. All right, so the blue, the blue devils real quick, scarlet mecha. Angelic Whisper. Alright. The Denim Mecha Coveralls. Prisoner's Pride. Got the Arm Tattoo. Sweatshirt tied around the waist. Oof. Whoa. <laughs> Night Raven Robes. Wow, that is fantastic. All right, uh, next one is the Ornate Variety Costume Package. Uh, Devilish Temptation. That kind of looks like the uh, the uh, Angelic Whisper there, yeah. All right, so there's the Devilish Temptation there, the Blacken. Night Raven Robes. Oh, we already did that one. Um, what is that? Skyline Waistcoat Ensemble. Kind of like the uh, the monk look, pretty cool. The uh, coral wave worm costume, pretty cool. The final whisper raiment, and there's something wrong here. Uh, yeah. That's what it normally looks like. It does have an alternate version. And this is the uh, Blood Dream Dynasty robe. Pretty cool. Alright, the next package. Crimson Paranor Silks. Wow. Can't believe they gave that out. The... Uh, what was that? The uh, Snow Bright Paranor Cottons. Kind of a Hawaii Five-O vibe there. This is the uh, Blossom Paranor Cottons. Classic Ball Attire. Goes real well with that cane. Dazzling Ball Attire. They're just different colors of the same thing. And that one was the uh, Pure Star Ball Attire. Alright, and the last package is the Innovative Costume Package. 
spring blossom garb. That's pretty cool. I like that. The Kraken House uniform. The Leviathan House uniform. Really? Mum mummy wrap silks? Uh, tomb bound wraps. These are the tomb bound wraps. And oh my god, I cannot believe they finally give this out. Siege Captain Mail. Um, I know a lot about this because I've had this on the EU for about uh, two and a half years. Uh, what was it? December or January of the first launch year? This was given out as a very, very rare, like super rare prize. And I happened to get one on my character on EU. Has not been in the game since. A lot of these are were only available for loyalty or some random way. So this is a, a very good opportunity if you're a costume collector to get in. And it is pretty obvious that all these are bound. So if you plan on selling them, you're going to need those auction house mannequins or whatnot. Okay, and all these costume packages again, it happens. It's a it's an event both fresh start and legacy servers all right for those who are on legacy server um, you can also buy these law keeper crates now I got 200 of them but I'm not going to subject you to even watching me open these things at a sped up rate there'll be a link to the spreadsheet of what I get after 200 of these um, we'll just crack a few open and you already know what you're going to get, unless something has drastically changed. In which case, just look to the spreadsheet. Um, so, th the most notable thing about this is those are, that are sticking around on the legacy servers. There is no regrade charms and no uh, lucky points in them, which you know that pretty much means these are pretty worthless to me. Um, the costume that you can get out of it, you can also buy for. Uh, what is loyalty 400 loyalty and this is what it looks like it's kind of a southwestern cowboy-esque you know i'm wearing a duster outlaw type thing or law keeper i don't know uh so there's that all right so that's what's going on for the legacy servers um let's pop over to the fresh start i've got that up there's a whole lot to talk about here um, all right, so the first item for 200 credits is Novice Dungeon Runner. Here you're going to get three uh, Guardian Grinding Stones, which will allow you to do uh, the greater dungeons more than the standard uh, amount of time. So you get three bonus entries. Uh, also in it, it looks like it's giving you some bound uh, drinks, soups, and uh, small potions. Now there's one item at the bottom called Adventure Times River. I don't know what that is. I, I did check to see online if anybody knows what this is and as of this video don't know what that is. I'm guessing it's some kind of uh, XP boost but I don't know for sure. Alright uh, and, and, and by the way if somebody can leave a comment you know Fresh Start's coming out tomorrow if somebody actually buys these, can you leave a comment and uh, we'll uh, try to add that to the data so people know what they're getting when they buy it. Um, the next thing is the Heroic Dungeon Runner. This has got a training token. Again, that is one item. I don't know what it is. Then there's the Superior Grinding Scrolls. Again, that's for dungeons. It allows you multiple entries. Uh, and then some better food. Um, a Combat Boost Attack Scroll. I'm just, uh, I'll talk about it later. Uh, some deluxe sandwiches, hearty soups, mossy pools, and desert fires. Again, those are uh, bound potions and uh, food and drink. All right, and the next item up for 1,200 credits is two training tokens. Again, um, I don't know what a training token is, so we'll leave it at that. There's 20 brisk dwarven elixirs. The Brisk Dwarven Elixir is the movement speed plus 3%. three so it's like a blue uh, Dwarven Elixir potion. The Studious Dwarven Elixir is a 10% bonus XP. 
and uh, you get 30 of those. And then the Greedy Dwarven Elixir is a loot drop potion for 10%, and you'll get 30 of those. That's 1,200 credits. The next thing up is the Heroic... Uh, well, it's not... <laughs> Yeah, it's heroic, but it's the Adventurer's Courage package. Again, with the training tokens. Don't know what those are for. Uh, combat boost scrolls, you know, we'll talk about that here in a minute. Um, those are bound. Adventurer's Rainbow pump, Pumpkin Taffy. Um, those I actually have on PTS. So this is a plus 30% or plus 30% to all your stats strength agility stamina intelligence however the ones that you're going to get from the pts are bound so they're not tradable or sellable uh, but they're still definitely worth having and uh some more food and then a three-day resurrection scroll 1500 credits uh next up this is an amazing package if anybody plans on being long term sweet dreams package this has the rabbit uh, pajama set. Now, if you don't know what that stuff is, if once you get property, you can put down, or actually you don't even need property, you can use the public guest beds. Um, each one of these, let's see if I've got them on uh, PTS. Um, I don't have the rabbit, but I do have a couple of the... Um, these this, the lullaby ones these are pajama pieces and basically what this set will do is when you use your bed or a bed you can use the guest beds and if you have the pajama set on when you use the sleep um, the sleeping mechanic basically you lay down and you sleep in a bed for 10 minutes and then you gain labor uh, the bed all beds have a base labor all right, so I got the bed picked up, and I just wanted to show you this. We'll blow this up. You can see here it says provides a place to lay down. The owner will recover 150 labor. So you lay down for 10 minutes. When you stand, or as long as you don't move and you rest for 10 minutes, you get 150 labor base. With the costume pieces, you get additional labor. So you get 50, 50, 50. 50 and then the 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 item on the PTS or I'm sorry on the uh, fresh start uh, Also has the mask which is another 50 so you get the bed labor plus another 250 for having the complete set um, And I believe there's also a bonus if you wear the all five pieces Yes, yeah, so another 50 so you get th with the rousing pajamas um, you will get a total of 250 50 per item and then a bonus 50 so that's 300 labor plus what the bed gives you which can be anywhere from 80 from the guest beds all the way up to 150 uh, for some of the more rare beds like the one that I have here which is the Yada bed all right, so there's that. That is the Sweet Dreams package. It also has two of the training, or five of the training tokens. I'm, I'm really thinking that has something to do with an XP boost, but I don't know for sure. Okay, so there's a crafting help, helper package. All right, so four training tokens, a bound multi-purpose workbench. If you are a crafter, that is a huge, huge deal definitely definitely uh worth the 300 or 3500 credits uh and then there's an expert furniture ticket i'm not quite sure what that is uh and then the last item is vocation expertise tonic times 20. the vocation expertise tonic is a decrease in production time so if you're crafting a lot of stuff quickly that production time is also a nice boost uh, also it does work like if you're mining so if you're mining nodes you can mine 10 percent faster in addition to that you also receive 10 percent ex extra vocation for vocation based activities 
Still not done. Uh, then there's the Sky Whisper package. Once again, the training tokens times three. Again, don't know what those are. A wrapped enhanced Sky Whisper glider. Now, the Tryon creators had um, the Sky Whisper glider as codes. Uh, I am one of those. I give, gave out some about a month ago. Um, but those codes did not work on the Fresh Start servers. So I don't think they are going to, especially if they're selling them. Um, so there's that. Uh, then there's two Crest Brainstorms. Those are used to make uh, UCC images. And then additionally, Flaming Pinions times 100. Um, this looks like a way to get a pretty good glider, the Sky Whisper glider is a decent glider and because it's enhanced it will have better speed turning etc so that is not a bad deal and then of course there's the costume packages which are also available on legacy so we've already talked about them that is the fresh start um, also i wanted to talk about this a lot of people were wondering if the fresh start was going to have them and they do so these are available once per month per account and what you get for the 30-day vocation stipend is your your max labor increases from if you're patron 5,000 to 6,000 um, you also get 2% more gold for trade packs 10% additional vocation badges and all, all these vocation buffs they do stack um, and then additionally, every day that you log in, you'll get a 500 bo uh, bound 500 labor potion. On top of that, there's also for 1,250 credits, the daily labor stipend. Every time you log in, a 1,000 uh, labor point potion. It is bound to you as well. And, and then additionally, you get 20% bonus XP for using labor. So... Every time you burn labor in a in a vocation, you get 20% extra uh, XP for that. Uh, so yeah, right off the bat, this is what I wanted to talk about and some of the things that I didn't talk about earlier. If you guys were wondering if Arcage is going to be uh, have any pay-to-win mechanics, there is. Now they're not quite as uh, crazy as they have been in the past. But anytime you give anybody a stat boosting item, a uh, labor boosting item, or any distinct advantage, uh, yeah, you can say it's a, it's a pay to win type of mechanic. It's definitely happened in an Arc Age, but you know, the way I look at it is Arc Age does get a little bit of a free pass. A little bit of a free pass. Uh, for having these pay for power type mechanics because the game is free to play. The game, the Fresh Start servers are launching as free to play. There's going to be a lot of people soaking up a lot of bandwidth and they got to pay for it somehow. That said, Arc Age has always had the pay to win label on it. And most of it has to do with the regrade charms, um, the weapons and armor. Uh, getting them to the elite levels um, has always been viewed as a pay to win mechanic. There are no regrade charms, at least um, no event versions of them i believe that those will be available right off the get-go and they are superior yellow charm i think that's where they're going to limit it and then the normal yellow regray charm um i don't see any green or blue ones which is weird but you know you know the other stuff on here nothing is jumping out at me um, there are going to be pet battle pets available. Uh, those aren't really great pets, but they are battle pets, so that might help you in your leveling process. Uh, there's a bed. You can actually buy a wicker bed. Uh, for it recovers a hundred labor point. Not quite as good as some of the specialized ones, but it is a decent chat, uh, decent bed. And then everything else is typical Arcade stuff that I'm seeing here. Um, snowflakes, whatever, uh, vocation tonic, XB tonic, cure after stones. It's all the standard stuff that's in normal arc age. So yeah, 
Just wanted to thumb through this to see if there was anything that I missed. Dances, language, oh, the regray charms are in here. Green charms, blue charms, yellow charms. Ma it looks like they're maxing out at yellow charm. Uh, superior armor tempers, that's a one, 106 RNG to 115. Resurrection scrolls, you can buy those for the general vendor. The saving pendants, you know, and then all the other standard stuff. What you're not seeing here um, on the Fresh Start server mainly is uh, the RNG boxes. So that's kind of good. Uh, expansion scrolls, they're offering five of them for 1500 and you get one extra so you get six. Uh, vocation tonics, this is vocation tonics are the du they double the XP that you get from using your labor. Um, so those are kind of nice. Uh, also here is the blue yada beds uh, or the green blue and pink yada beds these are 150 labor uh, especially when you're starting out in fresh start or with fresh start once you get a property you can put a bed down and once you put a bed down that gives you a daily labor boost labor is very important starting out on uh, fresh start so these might be the way to go um, you get 150 labor per day and these are permanent items so um, yeah, you know, having them available to you is going to be very important. And um, I'm going to look through this, but I'm I'm going to point out anything special that I see, but I don't think that there is anything. Uh, the last thing that I want to point out is in my last video when I talked about the secrets to making uh, gold on the Fresh Start, one of the things that I was wondering about is if the large labor potions are going to be available and they appear to be available. These are tradable labor potions. So if you have many accounts, which you know you may not, but a lot of people are going to be doing this every day when they log in, they're going to get five loyalty. And if they stay logged in long enough, they'll get eight on day five. Uh, if a person logs in, they'll have 35 loyalty potions are 35 loyalty tokens and they will be able to get the um, the large labor potion all right so there we go I'm gonna go ahead and open up the rest of these uh, crates for those that are on the legacy players there will be a spreadsheet and the uh, a link to a spreadsheet I guess in the video description so if you're curious on what's in those crates uh, check that out uh, I want to thank C tree um, he has helped me with uh, both the crates and the credits I needed to get the costume bundles to show those off to you. So thank you very much, C-Tree. And until next time, this is September saying, be well. Well, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you have found this information both helpful and informative. That is the goal of each video. Special credits to Al Hassan Muhammad. Facebook Vibe Skies and YouTube Al Hassan Muhammad for the intro and this outro music. This video was edited by Arid. You can find me on Twitch TV, Arid underscore, as well as YouTube channel, Arid. Uh, if you'd like to support me, you can follow me on Patreon, Twitch, as well as if you would like a one-time donation, you can do that via Streamlabs. I'd also like to thank my current Patreons, Umut Khan, Onal, and Billy Cool, as well as all these Twitch subs that are listed here. Thank you very much. And then the one-time top donors, Riot Devil, Mac PPS, Ascendra, Eldern, and Wick and Vape. You guys are all awesome. Thank you very much for the support. And as promised, I will recognize you in each and every one of my videos. So if you'd like to support me, please do so. Until next time, this is September saying, be well.